I knew I should be posting on LinkedIn, but most days I'd just sit there staring at the screen with zero ideas and no time to fix it. And every time I skipped a post, I knew I was missing out on leads, on new clients, and on those rare posts that actually take off. And if you've ever tried to stay consistent while running a business, you know how hard it is to keep showing up. So I built a system inside NAN that does it for me. It generates high quality, on-brand posts that actually still sound like me. In this video, I'll show you exactly how the system works and give you the full template so that you can start generating a month of content in less than 15 minutes. Now, as a business owner, you probably don't wanna spend hours writing LinkedIn posts, but you still need leads, visibility, and to increase your brand awareness. If you're not showing up on LinkedIn, you're missing the easiest organic way to drive leads to your business but most business owners quit because it takes too much time. And if you want to create high performing posts, you can't just guess what might work. So how do you identify patterns that are actually worth replicating? Well, if you think about how you use LinkedIn, most people will just scroll past inspiration without ca even capturing it. Not every popular post, for example, is worth copying. And some posts only work for that specific creator as well. So you need a way to filter out those outliers. You're not interested in average posts. And without benchmarks, you're also reinventing the wheel every single time you do it. Then even if you do have inspiration, like this one here, you still need to be able to connect it to your audience and rebrand it for your purpose. So we start our automation by scraping the top performing posts from creators that you love in your niche. So it's not just any post, but the ones that massively outperformed their usual engagement. And we do that by funneling in a LinkedIn URL of creators that we really love into an Appify scraper here. And this Appify scraper will literally pull all of the posts from a given creator, as many as we want to put, including all the engagement metrics, all the stuff we really want to see like likes, shares, etc., so that we can go through that filtering process and filter out the top performing. Now, we're not just pulling the basics of that information. We're also extracting everything from the image. So if there is a carousel or an image, we're able to actually then extract not only the text from the image so that we can actually emulate that later and also the image itself. So you've got some outlier posts, but how do you make sure you can actually find them again later? You could just have a massive list of all these posts, but it's not very searchable. You'll forget what made a post really valuable in the first place, especially if it's not saved with all the context. And when you're short on time already, you don't want to be digging through your old notes on posts that you thought were good and then clicking links and opening up. So you need a proper system that saves time and reduces that creative friction there. One that the more you use it, the smarter and more tailored it gets towards your business and your use cases. And that's why we're saving not only the text and the body, and the engagement metrics of that specific post, but we're also pulling all the information around the images, the text from the images into a searchable database so that you're not starting from the blank every single time. So you can see here, we've got the carousels of Matt Gray, who's a popular LinkedIn creator. And if we click into those, we've got all of the details from that original post. So we can click through the different carousel slides, but not only that, we've got the engagement metrics. So was this an outlier for Matt? We've got the content of the original post and the image text, which has been extracted from each of these images. When we come to actually recreating these later, we want to emulate that structure really closely so that we can also easily get an outlier post. So we've got images here and we've got multiple creators, including Matt Gray and Sabrina Romanov here as well. And you can see it pulls all of those details really easy searchable database that we can go through and you could add as many filters to these as you want whether you want to sort it by engagement time created whatever you want you're able to search that and we host this all inside an Airtable database where we store creators scraped posts and then we use an Airtable interface to just host a front end here really easy to set up and we'll tell you more about where to get this template for free later. So the rest of the automation is just putting all of that information back into our Airtable database, which can be replaced with one of your own databases like Google Sheets, 
etc. Now you've got inspiration and a swipe file. Now comes the really fun part. How do you turn those ideas into original posts that actually still sound like you and your brand? So we've all seen those generic AI outputs that are totally robotic, off-brand, and you've probably realized that writing in your voice requires more than just swapping a few words out. Whilst equally, you don't want to just take Matt Gray's posts word for word and copy them. So without guiding the AI in a certain way, you'll come back with really boring, really flat content. So the real value actually comes from combining your own brand tone and brand guidelines with proven formats and outlier posts. So we've done exactly that. Once you've got the outliers, the AI here generates a post and rewrites it to match your tone. And I've personally put some posts I put through this through an AI content detector and it's very close to 0% AI detection. So it can actually write in a human-like way that resonates with your audience. So we're able to add any creators that we want into here just by sharing their LinkedIn profile URL. We can scrape as many posts as we want from them. And we can also set it up to scrape every single day. We can add unique brand voices. And this goes into huge detail. So we've got the name, the voice guidelines, and we can see an example here for my own guidelines. We've got what product are we actually trying to sell to our audience potentially, if you are selling, what's the brand name? And then even for image generation, put in things like brand color. We're able to add those through the interface in a very simple way. So we can handle multiple brand voices here. So you've got inputs and a brand voice, but how fast can you actually go from idea to a final post? And does it scale? Can you do like a, a month's worth of content? And ultimately the automation should remove stress, not add another layer of tools to manage in your portfolio. Now that might sound counterintuitive when I'm telling you to set up NAN, set up OpenAI and set up Airtable to manage this all. But the whole point in this is actually you can plug and play with any database that you currently use any tools that you currently use. So if you want to swap out Airtable for Notion, then you can absolutely do that as well. So let's see what goes into it. If we go back to one of these inspiration posts and we want to create something like one of these inspirations, let's say we're doing a carousel and we want to emulate this here. The truth about success, obsession is greater than talent. We'll go into that post itself. This looks like an outlier. It's got 941 likes, 498 comments. How can we take the structure of that and how quickly can we make our own? It's a carousel. So we want multiple images there. And we've got the body of the original post. The truth no one wants to admit, obsession beats talent every single time. I've studied thousands of founders over the years searching for the secret ingredient to extraordinary success. It wasn't funding, it wasn't intelligence, it wasn't connections, it wasn't natural talent, it was obsession. And then we talk more about different things that drive obsession or help you sustain obsession. We've then pulled the image text. So we're now at the stage of like, how easy is it to generate a post yourself? And you'll be glad to see it's actually super easy. We've got custom instructions here and then just a draft post button. And I'll show you what that's doing inside NAN as it goes through this. So for my brand, I might say something like adapt the post to talk about automation obsession and minimizing work or maximizing free time. And you can see that we generate three draft posts so that we even then have three draft posts that posts that we can go and review there. So we'll click that, it will show us if it's generating or not. And we can come back and see exactly how that's executing inside NAN. So with that single input, you can generate a full LinkedIn post. So inside the post generator, we're passing in the original post copy the image slash carousel text and all of the brand details that we want so that we can tailor it to our own copy and make it really unique to our brand voice. We're giving it a full built out prompt here that tells it to create three variations, a story driven approach or alternative to the one we are emulating, an insight focused approach and a question problem driven approach. So like start with a question and then engage with more thought provoking thoughts after that. And it's basically saying emulate the structure and take parts of it, but actually create it for our own product and for our own brand voice. And then we even tell it how we would split out what we've called tweet cards here, which are effectively, if we're splitting into carousels, 
how it should split out the text into the carousels there. And a full run took just over 60 seconds to complete. And back in our searchable database, we have a draft post folder, and it gives us all the post bodies for that, as well as all the attachments that make it look polished. So we can click into any of these, and we've got an alternative of the posts that we were emulating. So here's a truth most people in business won't say out loud. Your talent is almost worthless if you don't have the time to apply it. After teaching automation to over 100,000 people, so see it's taken my brand voice and my experience, I've seen a clear pattern. The most successful aren't the gifted coders or the smartest strategists. They're the ones most obsessed with efficiency. And if you remember our original post, it was all about obsession and the structure was effectively breaking down that obsession into multiple parts. It's done exactly the same here, emulated the structure, but applied it with my own brand voice to my context. So you've got the content. Now, how do you make it look polished, branded and ready to go without spending hours and hours on Canva, which moves on to the next tip, using an external system. So creating content automatically into polished and branded carousels. And for this, I personally use Blotato to handle that part of the workflow. They've got an inbuilt node inside NAN, so it's really easy to use. You just go to the search bar, go Blotato, and it's an official community node, so you just need to hit the install button, and you've got all these actions you can take inside that workflow. So we take the AI written post, it pulls in the visuals, and then lays out everything for either LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, whatever carousels or whatever social media you want to post to, but Tato allows us to schedule to them all. So it's fast, it's clean, and makes the content feel way more professional. They are the sponsor for this video, so go ahead and check them out using the link below in the description. Have a look around and find the formatting options that work for you, the different carousel templates, They've even started branching into faceless video templates, if that's your kind of thing also. But if you've ever tried to create your own LinkedIn carousels, you know that it takes way longer than actually writing the post itself. But as a business owner, I don't want to be creating the visuals manually every single time for, for five posts a week, for example. You want something that looks good and aligns with your brand. And also design shouldn't be a bottleneck for getting out content. But most automation tools with the built-in tools anyway, like NAN, just ignore that visual layer entirely. So what we're able to do using the create video action inside Latato is actually just fill out details that are super easy. What font do I want? What hashtag? What's my main title? What colors do I want in the slides? And then I'm able to just actually take a template from their vast template library. And this is improving and they're increasing the number of templates here. And I'm able to just plug my text that's generated by the AI directly into these templates. And you can see that we've got the content slides here. And for each slide, we're basically separating the text. The biggest lie in business, talent is everything. After scaling a business 150x, I learned the real drivers of success weren't, and then it's going to move on to the next carousel image. So we can generate static single images, but we can also generate and push into templates branded images. So the entire post, text, visuals, structure gets sent to Blatato, which then formats it automatically into carousels and makes it look polished. So we get something that looks a little like this. And bear in mind, this is some test data, right? So it's not perfect. We get something that's really clean, fills out the text, talent is everything. After scaling a business at 150x, I learned the real drivers of success weren't the most skilled team, the biggest budget, the longest hours, the real secret, an obsession with building systems that save time. And then obviously I have not filled out the branding information at the back. I'm not Alex or Mosey, but it's easy in the node to also fill out all of this information and you can see how quickly we spun up in just a minute and a half or less than we've got not only a complete generated post that's ready to go, but also a really branded, polished carousel to go with it. And the inputs are just demonstrations. You can fill this with whatever you want. So you've got formatted carousels, but how do you actually get them posted everywhere you want, LinkedIn, etc., without doing it one by one? You want to batch at once and forget it and not go on every single day. So the more that you can automate the back end like this, the more you can focus on results. And this is also where Latato's 
strong points come in because they schedule across LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, all of the different social media platforms, whatever you want, 10 plus platforms, all in this one dashboard. So you've got this calendar view here where you can actually add slots and use the templates that you've created to just schedule them into your upcoming posts. Not only that, is it actually connects directly to your platforms. You can see all the API calls that you've requested. And then inside the settings, connect to all these different accounts as well. Now you've got two choices with how you work here. The first is actually scheduling it all directly in the platform itself, or you can actually schedule it still inside your Airtable database or whatever database you use. And then all we do is use the Blatato node to actually create a post instead. And then what we can say is actually the scheduled time should be this. And we pull that all in from Airtable including the media that we upload using the upload media function. And we pull that all in and schedule that directly on the platform. That means Blatato is then our management interface for all our different social platforms and all the posts. And not only that, it's also given us all of those polished branded templates in one place. If you want access to this template, it's available in the description below inside the free school community. You can jump inside there, grab the template and start customizing your own LinkedIn posts directly from this. We'll also have the Airtable available too. So now that you've built a system to auto-generate high quality LinkedIn posts, what if you could plug those posts into an entire lead gen engine that scrapes and enriches leads for you? So not only from LinkedIn, but also from Apollo and even Google Maps for local businesses. So watch this next video where I show you how to build a fully automated lead gen machine using 10 scrapers and one Airtable. So you never run out of warm leads again.